Lenovo X Clarity Administrator provides a common dashboard to manage servers, storage, and networking infrastructure. Today, we'll take a closer look at using X Clarity to manage network switches. To start, let's first discover our switch. We're going to come in here to Hardware, we're going to say Discover and Manage New Devices. So we already have our two switches installed. Now we simply want to do a SLP discovery. And once that's completed now, if I go over to my filter, I'm going to simply look for any switches that I have out there. And I see the two new ones that I'm looking for, 28272s. I'm going to select those. And I'm going to say I want to manage the switches that I've selected. Now we've got credentials that are already stored in XClarity Administrator because, of course, we have to authenticate with the switch itself. So I'm going to select the appropriate credentials here. And I'll ask it to go ahead and manage those devices. So it comes back and says, yep, we've got two switches. And they're now successfully managed. Okay, so let's close out of this. Let's go back to the dashboard. So this is where we started. Now this dashboard gives me a view across all of the things that I'm managing you might have noticed earlier it had 16 switches. Now it's up to 18 switches. Uh, you'll notice a lot of reds and yellows uh, here. So the first thing that the dashboard is allowing us to do is monitor for any problems. If I go up to the status pull down, uh, you'll see, in fact, that the new switches we just installed, in fact, uh, do have some issues. This one has a, a second power supply that isn't plugged in. So it's immediately giving me information about that, which is good. Um, I also, by the way, can allow... Uh, X Clarity to forward these events outside of the dashboard, right? So the ability to look at the dashboard is fine, um, but for a lot of infrastructures, it's probably more important to get those hardware events delivered to some other tool. So we have the ability to set up event forwarding for syslog events. Uh, SNMP traps obviously would be very common. I could send an email directly from within X Clarity, you know, whatever I need to do to be able to get that information delivered uh, to whatever administrator uh, needs to see it or whatever other tool. Uh, needs to see it as well. So from the dashboard, right, we're seeing the monitoring. We can also get better information about the individual devices and a couple different ways to navigate that. Uh, you can see here the list of 18 switches. If I select that, I'll see uh, the, all 18 switches that I have out there. Uh, I can simply select on, on any one of these to get more detail about what that individual device is. And we'll talk more about what I can do from this window here in a moment. But a couple other ways that I can get to that, if I was more of a visual person uh, and I happen to be using uh, some of our switches that are installed inside of a flex chassis, uh, I could start kind of at the chassis view that you see here. Uh, and when I look at the back of the chassis and, and mouse over the, the switch object there, you can see a pop up there. It tells me a little bit about the switch. If I double click on it from the graphical view, once again, I get to that to that details view. Uh, so I can do that if it happens to be a flex chassis. If it happens to be a rack switch, uh, we do have the ability to build uh, a rack level view as well. And so here is an example. If I double click on this particular view, we can see a couple of switches that are there. Uh, once again, I can just double click into that from the graphical view and get back to that same detailed view. Uh, and then the final way that is kind of handy to, to look at these is from uh, customized resource groups. So if I want to begin to combine things together into specific pieces of my infrastructure, uh, perhaps I have an environment like I have here with Dave Demo where I have a set of systems, server storage, as well as my network switches that are serving a, a, a specific purpose or supporting a specific application environment. I can kind of group all those things together. And just like before, if I'm interested in looking at one of the individual pieces, uh, I can just click into it and I can see the details uh, for that particular device. So no matter how I get there, right, all roads kind of seem to lead back to this, to this one screen where I can really get a lot of good information. So I'm getting a snapshot of the status, the power status, uh, some basic information about the switch itself. If I click on the inventory selection here, I can get more details about where it is. In this case, tying back into that rack view that you saw a moment ago, uh, information about the asset itself. Uh, about the management network it's connected to, whatever firmware levels happen to be current on this machine. All of that data is available as part of the inventory. Uh, I can also get any information about current alert status, uh, previous things that might have happened by looking at the event log, 
So I can go back and see, you know, historical view of the health of the, of the system. Uh, I can also do some things to control uh, certain elements as well. So if I click on configuration files, uh, you'll see here a couple of uh, sort of snapshotted elements uh, of the configuration. So um, the nice thing about what we can do with X Clarity here is we can, we can back up and restore the configuration files for an individual switch, or I could have selected multiple switches earlier uh, and backed up, you know, a certain point in time. So the idea here is, uh, really sort of from a, um, not really a disaster recovery. Of course, you could use it that way, uh, but more of just being able to back up and, and recover in case of any problems. Uh, I can come in here and, and either back it up. It automatically backs it up into XClarity itself. If I wanted to download it to my PC that I'm accessing the console from, perhaps I want to be able to carry that, that configuration to an, uh, another uh, in, uh, setup. I can do that, hold it onto the PC, and then import that into another uh, X Clarity Administrator environment, uh, I can always do that. So that's the configuration files. The other thing that allows you some control here is on the ports selection. So I can come in here and, and obviously see all the different ports that I have access to, uh, but I also have some control over these as well. You can see if I select one of these, uh, this one happens to currently be, be up. So on my control up here, I have the ability to disable that port. Uh, if the port was currently down, I could, I could en enable it. So again, some basic level control uh, to start and stop, um, bring certain ports uh, up and down. If I want more detailed controller configuration, uh, then I would typically come into the actions pull down. Uh, and here we have, we have a couple of you know, very powerful things. You know, certainly I can restart the whole switch, uh, but more importantly, I think is the ability to launch into the SSH console. So uh, you know, here you've got the full command line access to do any kind of configuration changes you might need to the switch. Uh, just as you would from, uh, you know, accessing in other ways, but the ability to get to that command prompt uh, by simply launching to it right from within uh, XClarity uh, can certainly be very, uh, very convenient. So all those things are available from within uh, the details screen there. Let's go back up to the dashboard here and let's move on to another topic area. So we've talked a little bit about monitoring, right? You could see some of the events that are there. We can see some of the detailed inventory pieces, uh, we can manage the, the configuration from sort of a high level with backup and restore or from a detailed level by launching into the individual uh, command prompt. Uh, what else might I want to do? Well, certainly I want to be able to do things to uh, update my firmware uh, on an individual switch. So we're going to go into provisioning here uh, and first talk about uh, where the firmware comes from, right? So one of the nice things about XClarity is that it eliminates the need to have to go off to our website uh, and search for firmware updates that you need for an individual piece, uh, whether it's a switch in this case or whether it's really anything else, and simply come in here and say, I want to refresh the catalog, right? So that'll allow XClarity itself to reach out to the website and pull down uh, information about any updates that are available. So let's just, in this case, narrow this, the list down. I'll start typing rack switch because I'm interested in my rack switches. Uh, and we'll see here that I have uh, firmware updates uh, for a number of these environments. Let's look at the 8272 that I just downloaded. Uh, we'll see here I've got a choice between CNOS and ENOS, and I've got a number of different levels of firmware uh, that uh, are available. And I can see, you know, kind of what the different levels are. I can see if I'm currently using them or not. Uh, if I've got any, inf any questions about what that uh, specific update is all about, I can click on the information icon access the readme file and the change log and really get a good understanding of what that update provides for me. Uh, when I'm ready to actually do the update, then I can simply select from the provisioning pull down the apply activate choice. And so we're going to come over here and say I want to go ahead and update the systems. I'll kind of refresh the, uh, the view here. Once again, I'll simply filter down uh, to my rack switches. Uh, and we'll see that I have uh, here the latest uh, ones that I just, uh, I just identified, right? So there's one of the ones that we just installed. Actually, here's both of them. I can select both of those. And we can see from the pull down that we've got a new update level that's available. Uh, so I can select that. Actually, it's pre-selected because that's the, the one that we've downloaded for both of these. So if I wanted to get those switches updated, I could simply come in, select both of those, say perform updates, and then I have some choices. I can either delay the update to uh, you know, the next time the system restarts. Uh, I could do immediate activation. So in this case, if I'm just installing these switches for the first time, 
They're not currently active in my network. It's not going to hurt to update them and restart them. Clearly, if this was an active network with things currently happening across my, uh, my infrastructure, I wouldn't simply you know, restart my, my switch in the middle of all that. Um, certainly not both at the same time. Uh, but if I did have a, a maintenance window, I could schedule this to happen uh, at a later date. Of course, I have to select how I want this to, to work. Um, I can select this to happen at, at a later time, or I could select it for an individual system. So you've got a lot of control over whether you're going to actually push the update right away, simply download the update and delay for a, a later reboot, uh, or if you wanted to go ahead and schedule it for, a, a, if you're lucky enough to have a maintenance window, to schedule it for a specific period of time. So lots of control over there. I'm making sure that I get the right firmware uh, added to my systems and being able to manage it from, from that perspective. And then the final area I wanted to highlight from XClarity Administrator uh, is the integration between uh, XClarity and our service and support. So this is how we drive our phone home support for all of our devices and, of course, for the, our switches as well. So a couple of things to highlight here. Number one is our call home configuration. So this identifies the contact. This is essentially who we're going to call when we get that hardware event. Uh, you can have different contacts for different types of, of systems or even by each individual system that you have. In this case, we have a, a standard uh, contact identified. Uh, I can track my, 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 my service tickets through this interface. So whatever is open or currently in process, it, uh, I can always come back here and see what, what the status is. Uh, and if I do have uh, a need perhaps to, to manually push um, uh, you know, a, a service call, so something is happening it's not really uh, identifying itself as a, as a hardware problem. Uh, I could still come back in here and select the system and say, I want to manually do the call home uh, or I want to manually collect the service data. And so you can drive that kind of interaction uh, if you need to as well. And then, of course, you also have information about warranty coverage in here. So you can see whatever warranty uh, information is available for uh, any of the devices. So with that, you can kind of get a feel for what we do in terms of XClarity Administrator for our, our network devices. Uh, it provides a simple yet really powerful way to provide basic switch management, including some basic control features, manipulating configurations and such. Uh, certainly looking at the inventory, understanding alerts, monitoring, alert forwarding, uh, and then being able to drive uh, not only firmware updates, but also drive the call home interface with, with our support. So really a powerful tool for managing all of the infrastructure, but in particular for our switch devices.